yeah, I appreciate that. But no, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, not interested. I don't know who you are or where you're calling from. You say you're calling from the UK, but you're obviously not calling from the UK. So when it's time, I will contact them through the website directly. Thank you very much. And please don't call me again. So my mobile phone contract is up for renewal in a few days um, and, um, and I've been bombarded by people supposedly from my mobile phone um, contract people um, trying to get me to sign up to a new contract and offering me all kinds of upgrades on mobile phones and that kind of thing um, but I don't believe any of them. One of them told me it was from a company which I know for a fact has gone bankrupt already um, about two years ago to be honest. Um, they're all from um, the Indian subcontinent um, all very much um, obviously with the same kind of very thick accents all calling themselves Simon and Jordan um, and even one called Peter this morning um, obviously not real names at all um, now I appreciate that they try and make themselves sound a bit more Western so it doesn't sound as though that they're calling from Bangalore or wherever it is that they're calling from but you don't know who these people are you don't know whether or not they're actually representing your mobile phone company or whether they're just independent companies trying to get you to sign a new contract so they get commission if you know what I mean um, so this year um, I've decided I'm going to do everything myself directly through my mobile phone providers website I've got the app on my phone so I already know what kind of phones I can get as an upgrade um, and I also know what the changes to my tariff are going to be but I just wonder how many more phone calls I'm going to get from you know bookshe companies claiming to be my mobile phone provider when actually they're not so anyway <laughs> by the end of March I won't be getting them anymore because that's it I'll already signed a new contract and that'll be it for the next two or three years or however long that I signed the contract up for <laughs> so it used to be just 12 months then it went to two years now it's three years so a 36 month contract seems to be the norm these days uh, before long you'll be having to send them DNA samples and give them blood well I've just come in to work indigo blue it's just after 8 a.m. in the morning it's lovely and quiet but we are very 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 busy at the moment I see all the new orders that's on the tables there these are all trade orders Plus, today, Friday, we launch our new range, our new Alice stamps. So we have not much room for Alice, the adorable Dormouse, which I think is gorgeous. Need to chat in a brew, I'm here for you. And also the Queen of Hearts. So, yeah, they are to be done today. The saying is, the sentiment has been very popular when you, can, when you can't look on the bright side. I'll still fill it with you in the dark. People have been buying it just for that. I mean, it's a lovely, lovely sentiment. So, yeah, all busy, busy, busy. The machines are getting ready to start. I've got the pressers ready to press some more rubber. And I'm cutting out at the moment on the machine. As I say, I've just got here so I can get started. Ella, bless her, she gave me a list. I've listened, listened, listened. She's so organised. So, yeah, that's my day sorted. Hope Mike's OK with Nipper and Benley. So it's Sunday, Sunday morning, and it's Mother's Day here in the UK. Um, this year, I asked Mum what she wanted for Mother's Day as a little present. And she said, oh, just buy me something for the garden. So we've bought her a hanging basket with a, like a conical um, hanging basket that has some kind of evergreen flowers and plants in. And there's like a conifer and some ivy and that kind of thing in it. Um, that she can just take out some of the annuals and just replace so it keeps it going all year round so it's outside in the garden at the moment because I've got nowhere to hang it up here inside the house um, plus it's been raining this morning so it's given it a little bit of a water so the plan is we're going to have a spot of light lunch today then we're going to bundle the dogs into the car um, which will be fun because Nippy doesn't like getting in the car at all uh, and then we'll have a poodle across to mum and dad's for the afternoon. We'll stay a couple of hours. Um, and then 
we'll be back here this afternoon um, for us to have a proper Sunday lunch. So I think we're going to have a proper sit down roast dinner today, which is something we don't do very often, but we thought we'd do this week. Look at that. Oh, I know. You're not going to lay down if you're going to get your belly scratched. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. I know. Mr. Nip is in front of the fire, look. Yeah. Uh, as, long as, as long as he's not burning himself, he should be all right. He's going to sleep. Look at the eyes closing. I know. Look at that. So, come through for it because it's Mother's Day today, isn't it? It is. So. Are <laughs> you hiding behind your mug? Somebody <laughs> says Yorkshire lad, not Yorkshire lass. <laughs> yeah. Got the wrong mugs. <laughs> so, yes, they've come to see Gamma and Gander, haven't they, on Mother's Day? You should have gone like that with it. <laughs> like that with it. <laughs> you've got the last one, you're, you've got the last. Yeah, I've got the last. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. They're up here now. <laughs> Too late. So, Bentley's just got off the set in if he's jumped in his spot. Oh. Oh. He's having a cuddle, though. Yeah. Nippy having a cuddle with Gamma. <laughs> so it's Monday, half past eleven on what date is it today? The eleventh of March. And I've just been over to mum and dad's, just to excuse the wobble. Um, I've just been over to mum and dad's just to take some groceries uh, and pick up mum's medication from the pharmacy and drop that off. Um, but I walked in to mum and dad's this morning um, into a war zone. They've been bickering and arguing this morning. Um, of all things, over the washing machine. So they've been arguing over the speed that it does a spin cycle. Mum swears blind that the machine will only do 1200 spin cycle and dad um, says that it'll do 1600 spin cycle um, and they've been arguing over that. Um, so obviously I had to kind of try and diffuse the situation this morning. Um, as it turns out, Dad is right. It is capable of doing 1600 spin cycle, but the spin cycle is dependent on the program that you're running. So for example, if you're running a woolen wash, then the maximum spin cycle you could get the machine to do is a 1200. You can only do a 1600 spin cycle if it's a cotton wash. So for bedding or shirts, that kind of thing. So anyway, <laughs> so that was fun this morning. So now that's done, all sorted. Um, and I'm now on my way back home again. So to do my own laundry. There you go, it's Monday, it's laundry day. So it's Monday afternoon and I'm just working on a new MDF laser cut set. So I've just finished the artwork upstairs, come down to test it out here on the laser cutter. Uh, this is a butterfly and wreath set. So it's kind of like a circular wreath with a little flower configuration on one side and a butterfly to go on top of it. I know I said I was doing a butterfly band this year, but that's just for me. I'm not saying that you have to have a butterfly band, so I'm still going to be providing butterflies in some shape or form this year for you guys to play with. So just cutting out a little bit of a prototype now. So I'll just turn the camera around so you can see. So it's just cutting out one of the butterfly wings now. So that's the artwork that's being cut at the moment. So as you can see, there's the wreath little bit of a row, some foliage and then a butterfly to go on one side or next to it, whatever. Just a nice little piece for a composition, an art journal page, mixed media canvas or even a 3D um, canvas. 
So while that's cutting, the prototype's working, Ian's made me a cup of coffee, so I'm going back into the house. So I believe there's a cup of coffee with my name on it. Oh, what are you doing? I've got some new product. Have you? I have. Whoops, we've all got new product, new product today. today. So what's this? Okay, for these. Oh, ones. yes. I yeah, just photographing them for the website. These are acrylic, but they are mirrored. Well, not mirrored. They are shiny copper. Uh -huh. Black back to them. 1.6 millimetres thick. So they're not very big. Not very thick. So they're not could go on a journals and things. Yeah. So we've got... Come down, come down. So we've got... Genius at work, lady. <laughs> Love it. Genius at work. Gentleman. Gentleman. That I really oh, like. My green man. I love that one. Love that one. Release the Kraken. I still say we should do a release the Karen. Yeah. <laughs> Strangers. Ooh, we like that one. Call the doctor. Oh, lovely. Plague doctor. Like yeah. it. And with them being acrylic, you can put them outside. Yes. So, Space Force. Like it, your planet needs you. I like this I one. I like him. I like him as well. Very Dan Dare, oh, isn't he? Oh, look at Dan Dare. He's showing your age now. Magical. Magical Magic. Owl Post Service First Class, let the magic begin. I love it. They're really, really nice. So, yeah, so these are going on the website. They're not expensive, but they're, they're nice to pop in yeah, if you a gift for someone. Yeah. Or if you want to do a journal with them not being very thick. Yeah. Brilliant. Really, really so cool. So I'm going to do some more, but these are just the, the sort of the start. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's eight in total. To start off to with. To start off with, but I'm going to build on these. Yeah. Anybody's got any suggestions of something they'd like? So what happens if somebody wants a larger one, Ian, like for an A5? You can just request, just, just message me and say, I'd like an A5 one, and I'll say it will be whatever. Pounds wise, but uh, these are the smaller ones. But I would, the uh, there is a facility where I can pull them all up and down. So, well, not too small. No, 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 they have to go up from here, not <laughs> down. So, this is the smallest, yeah. And theoretically, they could go up to be. So, what are they about three by four? I'll have a look. They measure at the moment in their entirety four and a quarter. By three and a quarter. Yeah, so up from there. Yeah, I mean, they go up to that size, that's A5. Yeah. Which is probably five and a half by eight. Right. So they will go up to that size, there's no problem with that. Excellent stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, if you want a bigger one, a worm is it. Worm is Just let you in now. But if you have any suggestions of what you'd like, mm -hmm. within reason, of course, mm -hmm. I'll see if I can do those as well. Yeah. Excellent stuff. So, yeah, so it's going to get those on the website now. Done my pickies. Lovely. Where's my coffee? It's over there. Thank you. It's in your National Natural oh, History Mug. My Natural History Museum mug. Oh, while you're on about mugs, what? we got these. Oh, yes. When we were at Liberties in London, if you remember that one with the beautiful kind of Tudor Beethoven interior, arts and crafts actually, wasn't yeah. it? But... Our friend Amanda. Mm. sent us some pennies she did our friend amanda from maryland yeah um sent us some pennies as a little wedding gift yeah um so we looked to try and find something while we're in liberties we found the ideal we found these hang on show the lid mr and mr so a set of mugs that say mr and mr it says on the inside <laughs> Um, to have and to hold, love and cherish. And then on the back it says, to have and to hold, from this day forward, to love and to cherish. They're beautiful. Emma Bridgewater as well. Yes, which is a, a British designer. Uh, we actually are, have already got other mugs. We have. From Emma Bridgewater as well. So these were a perfect addition to our yeah. little collection. But yes, so Amanda. Thank you, darling. <laughs>
So as many of you already know, Ian and I um, do a lot of work for um, Indigo Blue. This, this company here, um, who produce, um, amongst other things, um, stencils, red rubber stamps, and a few other uh, lots of fabulous kind of products like paints and colours and pigments and and all that kind of stuff. That's just a few bits and pieces for you know in their catalogue and, and resin and all kind of manner of beautiful things. And one of the things that we do for them is produce things like this. So this is day job stuff. Whenever I refer to day job, this is the kind of thing that I mean. So we produce this catalogue for Indigo Blue. So this is a complete catalogue of all of their products for 2024 that have been produced so far. Um, so this will go through for the rest of the year, um, but doesn't include any new stamp releases for 2024. This is just all the stuff up to the beginning of 2024. So that companies and um, businesses such as you know, local craft stores and that kind of stuff can get one of these catalogues and can order from it. Um, in the US, Indigo Blue products are distributed um, by a company called Co the Collins Group. They're the distributors for craft materials and craft products um, in the US, or one of them anyway. That, that Indigo Blue deal with. Over in Europe, it's a company called Craft Lines. So if you're, so for example, in Germany um, and want your local craft store to stock Indigo Blue products and by extension mine, um, then you need to talk to your craft store and say, look, do you order from Craft Lines? If you do, they supply Indigo Blue. Can we have some Indigo Blue products in the store? It encourages them. If you let them know what kind of products you want in the store, they're probably going to get them for you. And it's the same for the US. If you've got a local craft store that doesn't stock any Indigo Blue, go and talk to them and say to them, um, you know, if you buy from um, Collins Group, can you have a look at also stocking some Indigo Blue products? The more people that ask for it, the more likely they are to stock it in the local craft store so you can have indigo blue products there in the us obviously you can order direct from indigo blue um, and also you know stencils and that kind of stuff stamp designs from me that i've designed i only stock uh, my own stencils my own stamp designs that i've produced for indigo blue on my website but obviously indigo blue has the full the full catalog of stuff i mean it's not a thin catalog it's a <laughs> It's just pages and pages and pages of fabulous stamps and paints and pigments and rice papers and stencils and, you know, laser cut woods and embossing powders and all kinds of stuff and gilding flake and glues and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, speak to your local craft store and say, can you stock indigo blue stuff? Um, and the reason I'm telling you all this is because later on this year, um, I've been working with Indigo Blue to produce a new signature range of stamps. So these rubber stamps will be my design and they will be joint branded with my logo and with Indigo Blues. So Indigo Blue are going to be producing them for me um, and by extension, they then will be, you'll be able to get them distributed um, right the way across Europe and also into the US and Canada. So but again, you'll be able to buy them from my website or from Indigo Blue's website here in the UK. But if you want them in your local craft stores, then you'll need to talk to the Collins Group or talk to your local craft store about stocking stuff from the Collins Group. So I will tell you more about the new latest stamp designs as and when they come ready for launch. So I will put my new stamp designs onto my website for pre-order for launch. We're starting in April, and then we're doing a larger, full-branded launch in May. Exciting times ahead. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels, because without you, 
these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.